welcome to Young Turks Transformers. I'm Shireen Bhan. Over the next 30 minutes, you get to meet a game changer, a young entrepreneur who's rewriting the rules of the SME game. On Change Agent, you meet a social entrepreneur who's developing a socially relevant, sustainable business idea. And on Launchpad, we profile a young upcoming startup. Here's a quick glimpse of what we have lined up. changer this week is a young entrepreneur who's taking his family business of manufacturing petrol pump dispensers forward. Midco is a 150 crore rupee company and Neil Shah wants to take it international. He's also got into the signage business becoming a one-stop shop retail solution provider for oil pumps. Here's Neil and Midco's story. company quite literally fuels India's drive. Midco is one of the country's largest manufacturers of oil dispenser units. Pumping the company's growth is its 25-year-old managing director, Neil Shah. A second-generation entrepreneur, Neil returned to India in 2006 after wrapping up at the London School of Economics and plunged into business. The Midco group today is a thousand people strong, 150 crore rupee business with more than 60,000 dispenser installations across the country. A portfolio of clients that include Bharat Petroleum, Indian Oil, Hindustan Petroleum, SR and Reliance. Midco has the capacity to manufacture more than 30,000 dispensing units every year. A far cry from being India's only oil dispenser unit manufacturer in 1949. Midco started off as a aviation fueling uh, business and when my father took it over and built it up he uh, progressed on into becoming the first Indian dispensing manufacturer. Uh, as we did that uh, we evolved on to uh, other JVs as well. Recently we've had a joint venture formed with uh, PCA which is Polymer Composite Asia and they are a subsidiary of uh, Hexagon Holdings. The JV is called uh, Hexagon Midco India and it is in the business of manufacturing signages. Our other vertical is uh, Oilco and uh, Oilco services actually uh, the Midco's products after they've already gone onto the field. Uh, it has a pan-India service network and oh, amongst the entire group we've got uh, service location footprints of 250 and uh, our total group strength in terms of workforce is about a thousand people. Midco today has developed technologies not only for petroleum dispensing machinery but also for alternate fuels like LPG and CNG. Tying up with international manufacturers like Katsuno Corporation of Japan and Emoys Netherlands, Neil is bringing in state-of-the-art technologies to India. With dealerships in Africa, Middle East and Southeast Asia, Midco has established a global footprint for the brand. But Neil's current focus is to serve the rising demand in India and strengthen the network of 250 service centers. India is one of the fastest growing economies in the world today and uh, we are poised for that growth. Uh, we are going to be fueling that growth going forward. Uh, Midco dispensers are going to be more and more in demand as roads and infrastructures ministers has already announced that 7,000 kilometers worth of roads annually are going to be built. Um, the service vertical which services our dispensers in the field, we have 50,000 uh, dispensers uh, as an installed base all over the country and uh, we're going to be uh, servicing many many more that we keep supplying every year. To expand the dispenser manufacturing and services business, Neil is tied up with Hexagon, a Malaysia based manufacturer of industrial signages in 2006. With Midco's investment of 10 crore rupees, Midco Hexagon provides oil and gas retailers like Shell and SR and auto manufacturers like Toyota a single point solution for design, installation and maintenance of the advertising and branding needs. So what more is in the pipeline? Our products have certifications that are globally accredited. We have CEA Tex, uh, OIML and MID. Uh, with these certifications, I'm targeting uh, expansion into other markets where we have a great presence in India where we enjoy between 35 to 50 percent market share. But uh, going forward, I'm looking at expanding the exports. 
and uh, the markets I'm looking at targeting are uh, uh, the Africas, uh, I'm looking at the Middle East, uh, Latin America as well as Europe. Um, I'm sure that our total solution as well as the uh, uh, high quality cost competitive aspect of our design will help us ensure our presence expands in those markets. Uh, the other area that I'm targeting, of course, which is very close to our heart as a company is, uh, and since we're in the energy space, uh, is uh, alternative fuels. Uh, we are uh, increasingly getting aware in the globe about global warming and climate change. And to address this issue, we are proud to announce that we're the first Indian manufacturer to actually uh, uh, design and manufacture auto LPG fueling uh, dispenser and uh, our next stage in planning is to do a CNG dispenser as well. Uh, apart from these things I am also hopeful to uh, have our uh, to have our network improved, our network infrastructure and the plan is to go paperless and reduce our carbon footprint with innovative tools that are electronic in nature and uh, these are the plans that I've got going forward. Uh, apart from that, the headcount as well is a, is a, is a, is a uh, plan. We've got a thousand people strong today and we're looking at possibly expanding that up to two thousand people in five years time. Recognizing Midco's innovation in green and renewable technologies, the company was awarded the Rajiv Gandhi National Quality Award in 2008 by the Bureau of Indian Standards. Neil is now planning the next decade of expansion in the business. At Midco, our core strength is our people and our quality. The positive work atmosphere and the innovations which we will continue to deliver to our customers, hopefully exceeding their expectations, will make us a game changer in our segment. Well, Neil, we wish you the very best of luck and we hope you continue to pump your company's fortunes. On that note, it's time for a break, but when we return, a social entrepreneur is answering the call of the wild. That's more on Young Turks Transformers.